Some investment analysts and experts claim that Tesla stock price is going to crash. One of them is Wall Street analyst Gordon Johnson, well known for his anti-Tesla stance. In February this year, Gordon Johnson set a sell rating on Tesla shares with a $68 price target. So, is there any merit in this? Is Gordon Johnson right? Will Tesla's stock price hit 68 US dollars? James Hanshaw, a columnist from Seeking Alpha, said that Tesla is driving investors autonomously into a crash and that all Tesla investors are about to lose billions of dollars. So is Seeking Alpha and many experts who say Tesla stock is poised for a massive crash getting it right? Or are they missing something? If you want to learn our answer to these questions, stick around to the end of this video because we will thoroughly analyze these Tesla bearish sentiments. We begin with what investment analyst expert James Henshaw from Zurich, Switzerland said about Tesla. James believes that anyone considering buying into Tesla stock could easily get hurt due to a number of obstacles that are mostly too late for Tesla to avoid, autonomously or otherwise. According to him, one of the obstacles that Tesla might face is the US government's formal investigation into Tesla's autopilot, which was used in many crashes, where people have been injured and one person killed. Given the constant feed of challenges that Tesla faces, most of which are self-caused, as in the autopilot program, James Henshaw believes that as the costs for fixing those problems become apparent, the stock share price will fall significantly. He speculates that the price may eventually get back to $100 or even drop further to $68. This is quite a bold prediction, considering that the stock is currently trading near $1,000. These extreme bearish sentiments on Tesla are backed by Gordon Johnson, who also believes that Tesla's stock price can sink to these historic lows. Before we delve deep into these claims, let's first mention a few points about Tesla, the car maker, points that most people will know about but some might not. Tesla was founded by a visionary named Elon Musk who saw an opportunity in electric cars, EVs, when other car makers and especially the US and German makers mainly focused on traditional internal combustion engines. He gained an almost cult-like following among retail investors and used the resultant share price explosion to raise over $13 billion dollars in four stock offerings. Now, car making is a capital intensive industry and such low capital costs give it the advantage to get off the ground and into the big league. For instance, today Tesla is the world's 14th most significant car maker, according to Zipia, which is an online platform that empowers people with the information and tools to achieve their aspirations. In addition to low capital costs, Tesla also had good profit margins. Being a newcomer to car making, Tesla did not have legacy car maker problems such as restrictive unions and large company bureaucracies to add cost. Plus, EVs require many fewer components than internal combustion engines. This makes Tesla's profit margin better. For instance, the gross margins were 23% in fiscal 2020, compared with Ford's 10%. However, there's some evidence that the gap is closing as many traditional car makers venture into EV markets and give Tesla competition. Tesla's superior margins over other car makers are used by many believers to justify its high valuation. Still, while they are good compared with many, they are not massively better than the world's largest car maker Toyota, and the latest figures show this. From the latest figures, Tesla had a gross profit margin of 25%, while Toyota had 24%. The net profit margin was 10.5% for Tesla and 8% for Toyota. However, the operating margin for Tesla was 12%, while Toyota had a lower operating margin of 7.5%. Now, the gross profit margin gap between the two companies is expected to close once Toyota builds more EVs. And this is because of the massively lower amount of materials required to make EV motors than internal combustion engines. The financial results for Tesla look good. The company reported another record quarter in their fourth quarter earnings report, delivering $2.54 in non-GAAP earnings per share, beating consensus estimates by 16 cents. Revenues came in at $17.72 billion, better consensus estimates by $1.08 billion, and registering a 65% year-over-year increase in sales, with a car gross margin at 30.6% in the quarter. In addition, free cash flow increased at $2.78 billion from $1.33 billion in the prior quarter. It's quite clear from these figures, Tesla is a top company that is expected to continue dominating the electric vehicle industry for years to come. 
So why would a few analysts dare to predict that the stock might topple from thousands of dollars to hundreds or maybe even lower? According to them, the biggest risk to Tesla future stock market valuation is costs associated with quality, safety, and services. The analysts say that this is a self-caused major problem that has only started to show recently as more and more Teslas hit the road. A few months ago, the U.S. road safety regulator said that Tesla recalled more than 475,000 of its Model 3 and Model S electric cars to address rear view camera and trunk issues that increase the risk of crashing. This is around 25% of all the cars that Tesla has delivered so far, and there's no doubt that this will bring a huge direct financial hit on the company. For a while now, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, NHTSA, has been discussing camera issues with the automaker while also probing the company's driver assistance system. The investigation covers 765,000 vehicles, which is almost everything that Tesla has sold in the U.S. since the start of the 2014 model year. As per the crashes identified by the NHTSA probe, 17 people were injured and one killed. In addition, NHTSA says it has identified 11 crashes since 2018 in which Tesla's autopilot or traffic-aware cruise control have hit vehicles at scenes where first responders used flashing lights, flares, and illuminated aeroboard or cones warning of hazards. If Tesla is found to be in any way responsible for those accidents, the resulting legal claims from the deceased persons bereaved and the injured could result in tens of millions of dollars in compensation claims, in addition to the cost for any fixes that might be needed to those cars. If an automaker is found to have hidden a safety defect, NHTSA can fine the company for more than $22,000 for each violation. This would mean that Tesla could end up paying more than $111 million in total for a series of related violations. In addition to this, federal law requires all safety recall repairs to be provided free of charge on cars that are up to 15 years old, and the years are counted from the time the car was sold to the first owner, rather than based on model year or the date of manufacture. Tesla sold nearly 1 million cars last year, and there are probably around 1.5 million still covered by warranty. Should the company get any costs above the provision, they will hit future profit figures and the company will have a severe cash hit. Assuming 500,000 cars need a fix this year, at the average cost of $676 per car, the cash hit will be $338 million. And as more cars go on the road, the cash cost will go up accordingly. In addition to that is the cost of servicing all cars, which are still within the warranty period. The other problem is that there's a supply chain shortage of many parts due to rising geopolitical tensions and disruption of supply chains. Subsequently, parts needed to fix cars recalled will mean fewer parts available to build new cars. Additionally, at the last press conference, Elon Musk said they would be making production the priority this year and there would be no new model introductions in 2022. In conclusion, is Tesla grossly overvalued and misrepresented? And is there a possibility that the stock would be wretched by the current problems the company is encountering? Well, to those who look only in the next quarter or year and not any further, yes, Tesla might appear to be overvalued and it might look as if the company will collapse due to the current problems. However, to those who look five years or more down the road, Tesla starts to look like a bargain. So it all depends on the time frame you give Tesla. But truth be told, with the trajectory that battery electric vehicles are taking, it's no doubt that Tesla will end up on top in the EV industry by the end of the decade. Bearish analysts like Gordon Johnson and James Henshaw are being short-sighted, and they fail to see the bigger picture, which is that Tesla will win the long game and will be the primary winner in the electric vehicle transition. Thanks for watching.